My name is Marvin Struik. I work here at TMG on the driving simulator. Um, our group is responsible for both the development and operations of the driving simulator. The way the simulator works is that we have a real-time computer that runs all the physics uh, of our in-house developed model. Um, this communicates with an external graphical engine that basically renders all the visuals to the projectors. And on top of that, we have laser scan track services that um, we read out and um, feed back into our model. So the positions of the wheels, um, we capture this and then we can simulate all of the dynamics. An extra component to this is the motion platform, uh, which takes cues from the physical model to give the driver the sensation of driving a real car on a real circuit. In our case, we have five projectors, and each projector has its own dedicated rendering computer. And then we have one central computer that distributes the graphics to each of these um, rendering computers. We have several computers to control things like the data and the ECUs. We have one computer um, which is a big real-time computer that runs the actual model and does all the communication with the hardware in the loop. The requirements of the simulator are quite dependent on the kind of tests that have to be done. Um, for example, we have the real ECUs of the real car in the loop, um, the real data telemetry systems. So these systems have to match uh, the, the actual systems on the real car. The specifications have to be the same and all the signals have to be supplied in the same way as they will be on the real car. They can definitely make the drivers faster. Not only do they get more practice with the car, but also with the car equipment, which is getting more and more important, more and more advanced, especially in series like the WEC. To give the drivers some time to practice with this, get familiar with the systems, and be well prepared for the race, I think can help them a lot. We have a lot of uh, failure um, modes that we can trigger uh, and we use this especially in our preparations for the 24 hours of Le Mans where a lot of these uh, failures can occur and we want to prepare not only the drivers but also the crew so the full crew is present and we do a very intense week of or two weeks of training where we trigger a lot of these failures so tire punctions, engine failures, gearbox failures, uh, you name it and we simulate it. regularly drive it when we test certain items. Um, I'm personally not a good race car driver. <laughs> I'm actually quite a bad one. Um, but still, uh, it's fun to hop in from time to time and experience what it is like to be a real race car driver, um, the kind of challenges that uh, racing presents to the drivers. And you start to appreciate a lot more what the drivers go through when they're out at the track.